Whether you come to Key West for an in-depth history lesson, or you just want to skim the surface, Key West's story is richer, more colorful, more substantial, and quirkier than you ever imagined. Key West, close to perfect, far from normal. If you're thinking about getting better internet at a better price, good thinking. There's never been a better time to get reliable 100% fiber internet. Now you can get Frontier Fiber for $29.99 a month. Hurry, offer ends March 31st. All with premium Wi-Fi and expert installation included. Fast, easy, reliable. Frontier. Ashley's biggest event of the year is here. Earn 3% back with 12-month special financing on a qualifying in-store purchase with your Ashley Advantage Synchrony credit card for a limited time. Shop doorbusters starting at just $2.99 and get free no-hassle delivery and assembly only at Ashley. Monday, March 11th. It's live with Kelly and Marks after the Oscar show in Hollywood. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Breaking at 6 a.m. in an active investigation in Tarzana this morning after a man was found shot to death. We're live. Plus a busy agenda today for Mayor Karen Bass as she continues her trip in France ahead of the Olympic Games there. We're live from Paris. 30% they went up. <laughs> And President Biden interrupted during his State of the Union address details on the local man who was arrested during the president's speech. Good Friday morning to you. I'm Rachel Brown here with John Gregory and Mark Cotorobles. And Leslie Lopez watching weather for us today. And Leslie, the sunrise views today, spectacular. Oh, I know. It's going to be very wonderful today. A happy Friday to you all. We are looking at uh, some great weather, especially after some severe thunderstorms rolled through the area yesterday. We're clearing out and it looks fantastic. About 68 degrees out there in downtown Los Angeles. Inland Orange County. Those temperatures around 66. If you're heading out towards the Inland Empire Valley, spots about 69 degrees. Then you head out for the coastline. It's going to be 63 to 64. Mountains about 42. And our high deserts get up to about 64 degrees here today. And it's all looking like sunshine is on our side this weekend. We'll talk about your Saturday. A little shift for Sunday and then Monday. And then we're right back to some warming. Getting so warm next week that we might be back in the mid 80s. I have more on that coming up. Brianna Ruffalo is in. Take a look at traffic. How's it going, Brianna? Morning. I've been pretty slow so far. We have this one incident over in Topeka Rivera and the backup's gotten a bit worse. It's on the 605 southbound. However, it looks like we might have those trucks moved over to the shoulder that were involved in this accident. It's right at Beverly Boulevard, but just know as you're traveling through Pico Rivera on the 605 South that you might hit a, quite a bit of a backup here. Uh, it's just on this stretch from about the 60 all the way down to Beverly Boulevard where it's going to be moving pretty slowly, but it looks like they may have gotten them moved over, so uh, we'll hope for that. But overall, pretty easy drive so far this morning. All right, John, Rachel, Mark, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, that's good to hear. Thanks. We've got breaking news out of Tarzana, a death investigation underway near a high-end country club. Scott Rife live in Air 7 HD with the latest on that. Scott. Yeah, John, this really looks like it's going to be a murder investigation. We understand about 12.30 this morning, a security guard spotted the body on the side of Reseda Boulevard. This is up into the Santa Monica Mountains, past the Mulholland Park community, which is just above Braemar Country Club. Uh, he called the LAPD. LAPD has given us some information that the man was shot. It's unclear if he was shot and killed at this location. We don't see evidence markers uh, on any type of shell casings around the body. They're just now putting up the tent. So LAPD homicide detectives have been called to the scene. It's unclear at this time, or we, we have no information on a suspect. They are canvassing the neighborhood, talking to some of the people in the community. You see off to the right, see if they heard or saw anything suspicious. If they have, they're encouraging them to call the LAPD. Rachel, Mark, and John, back yeah, to you. Yeah, certainly a high-end area there. Uh, Scott, thank you. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass continuing her trip into Paris, France, just months before this summer's Olympic Games there. Bass and a delegation from L.A. are there to learn how that city is preparing ahead of the Games coming here to Los Angeles. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell joins us live from Paris with the latest. Josh. Rachel, Mark, and John, good morning.